Do you wish you could just heal yourself with food? Have you ever felt like cooked food is dead or depleted, especially when it's cooked in a microwave oven or on an electric stove? Have you ever wanted to find a way to keep all the nutrients in your food or even enhance them? Then you're going to want to pay very close attention to what I'm about to share with you. Imagine if there was a way to restore your body to its genetic potential, to actually heal through time rather than fall apart and degenerate as we age. How would that change your life? In a few minutes, I'm going to reveal an ancient truth that I happen to rediscover. I'm sure you already know that the problem with our health today stems from the nutrient depletion of our soils and thus our foods, from the processing, shipping, and storing of our foods, from high temperature cooking and that denatures enzymes and destroys B vitamins, from cooking in air that oxidizes nutrients, and from all the chemicals like pesticides, colorings, artificial flavors, and other additives in corporate foods, not to mention aluminum and Teflon from cookware. But if you thought that was the worst problem, you probably didn't know that the spiritual nutrition of food is depleted as well. From 50 and 60 hertz magnetic fields that push the Ormus spirit minerals out of our foods. I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartout, and I was supposed to be dead nearly 20 years ago. But for most of my life, I've been looking for solutions to help my body heal itself. After all, it's the body that heals itself no matter what it's healing from. If we cut ourselves, the body forms granulation tissue and it heals. There is no medicine, no doctor that can do that. But we can get in the way or we can help. So a healer being a healer is really about learning what accelerates that versus what blocks it. I have written a dozen books on accelerated self-healing, and my work has shown up in places like Alternative Medicine, The Definitive Guide, as well as People Magazine. When I was young and learned that I was dying, I already knew that diet alone would never be powerful enough to keep me alive. Our bodies, our environment, and our food supply have degenerated too far for that to work. I was drawn to eat more raw foods for the enzyme content, but I also learned that often when we are not well, our digestive tracts can't process the roughness of all those uncooked fibers and doesn't have the power to extract the mineral nutrients found in most vegetable foods, especially as they're now grown in such depleted soil. I had already studied the pioneering work of Dr. Theron Randolph on allergies and knew that many people have become sensitive to the petrochemicals involved in cooking with gas or propane. Even a wood fire, it turns out, puts out plenty of carcinogens, not to mention carbon monoxide. Microwave ovens were the new solution being promoted when I was young, but I definitely didn't trust the unknown effects of this kind of radiation exposure of food. It turns out that microwaves break enough of the nitrogen bonds in proteins to make them indigestible. When I was writing my first book called Electromagnetic Pollution Solutions in 1989, I came across a study that found eating microwave food three times a day for two weeks made normal subjects' blood indistinguishable from cancer patients' blood. So no microwaves for me, thank you. Even regular electric stoves are obviously not a great solution, besides giving poor temperature control, which produces more carcinogens when you wind up burning food. The extremely low frequency magnetic fields at a frequency of 50 or 60 hertz, depending where on the planet you live, drive off the spirit of the food, which is the nutrition that feeds our immortal spirit body, our conscious body. Now, knowing that about the Ormus spirit minerals and knowing how Nobel Prize winner Albert St. Georgi concluded that every vitamin, mineral, enzyme, and hormone responds selectively to specific electromagnetic frequencies 
typically increase in, increasing and decreasing its function by 500%, I figured that maybe, maybe I could find an alternate frequency that would actually have a beneficial effect on the minerals of the spirit. In fact, I was doing some research to store different frequencies in liquid form as medicines, and I was running into a few frequencies that were giving me a challenge. I thought, perhaps I can find a resonant frequency for Ormus and see if that affects the ability of the liquid to hold other frequencies. So I set about testing one frequency after another, starting from zero and checking every tenth of a hertz. That was a couple hundred tests by the time I got up to 20 hertz and started checking in intervals of one hertz. After a few hundred repetitions of anything like that, my mind is in a contemplative state. What happened next was that suddenly I came out of my reverie when one of the tests produced the result I was looking for. I checked a few times. I left it alone for a bit. I came back and checked again. I thought of all the skeptical reasons the result might not might be an error and checked again. But sure enough, I seem to have found what I was looking for, a frequency that actually acted as a spiritual nutrient instead of a stress. The setting on the GS1 frequency generator was 172 hertz. I wondered if anyone else had reported any interesting phenomena at that frequency. A search of the internet eventually turned up the fact that 172 hertz had been considered the dominant harmonic frequency of nature in ancient China and Tibet during a period known as a thousand years of peace. I also found it's a frequency associated with the mineral calcium that of course dominates our bones and with the 26,000 year precession of the equinoxes in our movement around the Milky Way galaxy. All of these were octave resonance frequencies, octave harmonics. That was a lot to think about and all quite cosmic and transcendent. If you've ever felt like you were on the wrong planet, I can relate because we have been surviving through a time dominated by materialism and denial of the life of the spirit, really a culture of death, like the toxins and surgery and medicine, like pros proscriptive and punitive law, and like the, the nom de guerre in commerce, you name it. But I am here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way. Life trumps death. You are an immortal spirit having a human experience. What is important is what you will take with you, the coherence of your virtues and your spirit vessel, the holy grail of spirit minerals that holds your consciousness. Build those eternal values and you will never end with regret. And the best way we can do that is to work together. We can build a culture of life here on Earth. We can still use technology like electricity, but we have to use it consciously, as if spirit matters. One of the best places to start using beneficial frequencies is in our food preparation. And along with 172 hertz field, we know we need to use cooking temperatures low enough to maintain enzyme activity in our foods. We know that we need to avoid cooking in air because oxygen is a powerful oxidizing agent that destroys the nutritional value in food even more when it's combined with heat. And of course, we know we need to avoid cooking in aluminum and Teflon. I'm here to propose a solution that together we can create as a reality. We can cook in steam rather than air at a temperature that allows enzymes to stay active using energy efficient induction heating operating at 172 hertz. It will be just as quick and easy to use and clean, use and to clean as other modern induction cooking surfaces that are safer and easier to clean 
sa they're safer from burns and easier to clean than other stovetops. In fact, the cookware and the heating elements are already commercially available. All we need is to make the GS2 and beyond Healing Oasis generators to operate at 172 hertz, making it a sanctuary to collect the Ormus spirit minerals in our foods and in our kitchens. Having more spiritual nutrition in our food will help us heal our bodies better, but the real benefits are those that will outlast the body itself. Imagine being able to improve consciousness, quality of life, longevity, and spiritual development of the immortal body by making more nutritious food. Once we can fund research and development of the prototype GS2, which will cost over $20,000, we can confirm how effective this concept is in practice. Then we can release a GS3 practitioner research model in the $10,000 range for others to replicate our findings. And finally, roll out a GS4 consumer model for every kitchen at an affordable price, beginning at about $5,000 and decreasing eventually as once economies of scale kick in. In the meantime, you can start to benefit and help us collect data and observations on the effects of the dominant harmonic frequency of nature. You can use the Healing Oasis 172 Hertz energetic solution drops in your water, drinks, and on your food. You can also practice holding perfect pitch with a tuning fork or a free online tone generator. You can explore vocal toning and, or a tuning fork for accelerated self-healing applications. So if you want to be a part of this historic shift in how we understand our spiritual nature and our purpose here on Earth, I invite you to join us now. If you feel called to join us in testing the first practitioner or consumer units as they become available, this is the only time you will have the opportunity to reserve an early unit. Since these will be limited, a limited one-time production run, we cannot guarantee that reservations will be available through the entire run of this launch. After the planned units are spoken for, or after this crowdsourced launch is finished, you will have to wait with the rest of the world on a waiting list for the public launch. It will still take a few months to get your unit, but at least you will have it well before the rest of the world. As I stated at the outset, do you wish you could just heal yourself with food? Well, we certainly need to start caring for the environment of the earth, its soils and our garden spaces but also our kitchens and how we process our food. Join me in rediscovering the dominant harmonic frequency of nature and finding out what that can do for the healing power of our food and our spirits. Either way, I trust I will see you on the other side. <laughs>